Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium C series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the New Heartbreaker series. So um, now that March is over, I do want to do a very quick flip of my March pages in my Hobonichi A6. So I do have um, the full year in this one book. This is the English version, which I am absolutely loving. It's definitely one of my favorite planners that I'm using at the moment. I love the A6 size. I realize that um, this is definitely going to be uh, one of my planner piece planners just because I am able to use any type of sticker kit in here If you guys have missed my plan with me videos in this planner I've done one with using um, a Hobonichi cousin weekly kit from my shop the vertical weekly kits and also the journaling kits So you can see that I've been able to use all those stickers in this planner because of the fact that you can actually have two columns here so um yeah, I'm really, really loving this planner at the moment. Um, I still have some winter deco in here. I'm definitely going to be switching it out now that we're in April. So um, yeah, I'm gonna switch out this journaling card for something more spring-like, but pretty much everything here is the same. I just have some uh, sampler stickers from my shop, a few task cards, journaling cards, some sticky notes in here. Um, I have this uh, clear cover also that I have wrapped around my Hobonichi to keep it protected so I really like that and then this is how March turned out the monthly I just used some simply gilded washi tape this is the Ireland passport and then this is the lucky charms one so um, that's one of the new ones that I actually purchased this month. So um, yeah, I just write in all my important dates in here, which is really nice, really functional. And then these scripts are from my shop. So I have added some of the dates for April, but I still have to add some more. But I will probably do that when I set it up and then I will add my stickers as well. And then let's go into March daily pages. So uh, the front page here, I just use it as a running to-do list or project list. So these are all the projects that I'm currently working on for my books at the moment. I also have things that um, are kind of like more multi-step um, tasks in here. So like, for example, I had the shop anniversary that I wanted to do in March. I also am taking part in a couple of collab sales, the Pink Planner sale and also the Planner Boss Collective sale. So um, I have several things to do for that. So I just made a running list and um, as you guys can see, I have one um, cover reveal that I have yet to do. So that is something that will be moved into April. So again, it has the Ireland passport washi and I like to kind of match the monthly here with the dashboard page. So yeah, that's how that's been working out. I love that. And then I have really been loving breaking up the page into two. So I just use this uni jet stream pen to make a line down the center and I kind of use this last line here as a guide for that. And then I will put in my timeline on one side and my to-do list and other notes on the other side. And this is just a quick glance of everything um, in like a smaller size. I do have an A5 daily duo here, which I use as my main kind of daily system. I do have a flip through of this planner, which has pretty much everything that I have going on, but this is just a more compact version of that that I can keep in my purse. So the main thing that I keep in here is my schedule and then my kind of like to-do list top three. Whereas the Daily Duo has finances, it has like tracking, so like workouts, um, daily spends, my happy mail, um, bills and all that kind of stuff. So that kind of stuff I don't always put in here. If I have my planner with me and I do want to mark it down, then I will. But um, sometimes it just stays blank and that's perfectly fine. So as you guys can see, I've been using these stickers. These are stickers from the Vertical Weekly kits. And I just use them in addition to these icons and deco pieces. So sometimes I write in my timeline, like here. And then other times I do have these timed washi strips from Rose Colored Days. I have them in different foil lengths. So sometimes I will use those instead. So um, yeah, that's how I've been marking everything. I write down my 
word count for the day. I am a romance author, so I track my progress for my books this way, and I also track all of my YouTube videos here as well. So I just mark down my day on the one side and my to-do list on the other. At the top here, I write down my events for the day. So I have that there. And that is basically how I set up each of my daily pages. I like them all looking quite similar because um, I, my eyes know exactly where to look. In here, I actually use the leftovers of my A Scandalous Affair Hobonichi Cousin kit, and that also works in here. So I love that I can use any type of kit in here. So that is what that looks like. So as you guys can see, some days are really filled in like these days were. Um, that was because I had the anniversary sale in my shop, so um, lots of orders came in, so I was very, very busy. This week I used the winter forest journaling kit, so you can see like the ripped washi and the deco pieces, that's where all of, the, all of those are from. And then I also used the Hobonichi Cousin kit too. The time strips are in Silver Hollow. So it's nice because you can just really play around, have fun with all these stickers in here. And then this week I used the leftovers from my member spread. This is using a Simply Gilded kit. So this is the first time I added the bottom washi because I had washi that matches the kit perfectly. So I wanted to use that. So I have that all at the bottom there just to frame the page. I like having the um, dates there. I love that the number is so big too. It just makes it look very clean. This is also Simply Gilded Washi. This is the Lucky Charms one. Really love it. And as you guys can see, this is the last week. So again, I just write all my events in a box and then I just have my to-do list. So these days, I didn't have as much going on. I was editing like the whole day, so I didn't have anything else planned. So yeah, that is my daily pages. So I'm keeping it pretty simple. As you guys can see, the deco kind of changed from winter to a little bit more spring stuff. So in April, I will be using some more spring stuff. I got a lot of questions on where this bookmark is from. This is from Fluffy Angel Stationery. She's closed now but um, it has a little charm at the top. So I really like how that kind of peeks out at the top there. So those are my daily pages. I use this A6 in conjunction with my Hobonichi cousin planner. So these two go hand in hand. So I will be doing a flip through of my project pages and my journaling pages in here. I actually forgot to do a flip through for February in my weeklies. For this planner so i'll probably do a flip through of that as well so look forward to that if you guys are not subscribed please consider subscribing if you guys have any questions you can leave them down below or if you're interested in the stickers or the printables from my shop you guys can use the code save 10 to save 10 percent off so that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little flip through video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye